Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kat the Nurse Flipper. So I put a 50% off sale on my store. I showed you guys last video some of what sold. So how many do you think we ended up with? Let's take a look. All right guys, so I showed you 22 items already and now I'm gonna show you the rest. So we did end up with two Nurse Flipper store sales. That was not from a sale. We also ended up with one sale on Grailed, which was our first and we have 45 going out over on eBay on the main store. So I showed you 22 of those. I'm gonna show you the rest real quick. So first I will show you our first grilled sale. It is this Green Bay Packers Super Bowl Champions hat. It is in pretty good condition. That's just some fuzz there. Um, it is a snapback. Here is your tag. And it's sold for 23 free shipping on grailed. And I'm happy to have our first grailed sale over on the nurse flipper store i sold and this is like a really awesome glass elephant um i sold them for 9.99 but if you see one he is missing an ear two both of his trunks are missing but this is like such a cool white glass elephant that i still listed him so i got him in a box lot i paid less than a dollar and he sold for 9.99 on the nurse flipper store and then these I actually got for myself on Shop Goodwill. I paid $20. Um, they are a pair of Justin Gypsy boots. And I had them at like 40 to 50, which some of them sell for that. I had them a while. Somebody sent me an offer of 28 plus shipping and I accepted. So I normally would not pay that much for boots, but I got these for me and they just weren't comfortable for me. So still making like five bucks on them, not too bad. And now we will get over to the main eBay store sale. So up first is this purse. This is going out to a viewer and someone who is um, very supportive of my channel and always in my premieres. This is going out to Tina, who is Mama Duck Flipper. Um, this is going to be a gift for her sister's birthday, and it's a super cute little Vera Bradley purse. It's sold for $9.11, free shipping. Shipping will just be a few dollars because it's light, and we'll go first class. And then up next this I got in a health and beauty lot I'll take it out where you guys can see it it's a resurfacing face mask um, it is by Tara Harper so if you see new stuff um, like this at yard sales or even thrift stores look them up this sold for $8.77 free shipping it's really light only be a few bucks to ship I've less than a dollar in so about a three or four dollar profit on that and then up next are these really cool vintage patches. These were in the um, craft storage drawers that I got. So I actually am in the profit already from sales. These sold for $7.99 free shipping. There are six of them and shipping will just be $3. So about a $4 profit on those. And then up next is this shirt. This is a Conky Joe shirt. I think it's really cool. It is a vintage shirt. Conky Joe's with the Marlin there. This is from a restaurant in Jensen Beach. And this one sold for 15 free shipping. I have four in. Shipping will be about four. So about a four to five dollar profit on that. Up next is a visor. This is a Guy Harvey visor. This one's actually like brand new. I don't think that it has ever been worn. Um, and I have about $2.50 into it, and this one sold for $11.69 free shipping, so about a $6 profit on that one. And then up next is this Nippers Abacos Bahamas, really cool hat. Um, I am waiting to hear back from the buyer, so I might not ship this one because it does have some sweat stains, and unfortunately, we didn't capture that very well in the photos. So I want to make sure they want it before I send it out. So it sold for $19.99, free shipping, about $2 in. So that'll be about a $12 profit after fees and shipping. And up next 
and this really sucks so i actually broke that tip off um here it's supposed to be three flagged but i still listed this um just i got it at a yard sale i paid like i think a dollar for it it was on a dollar table and it sold for ten dollars plus shipping the buyer's actually 25 dollars all in this one did have the tag so i could look it up it is from 1981 so it's a really cool piece um it's by david winner which is marked there so even if that tag wasn't there you would be able to look it up and Sometimes even with imperfections, you can still sell stuff, so not too bad. And then up next is this Breezy's bra. This was on my QVC palette. I didn't list these for a while. Um, they were just thrown on my table. I finally got around to it. $2 in. This one sold for $10. Free shipping. Shipping's only be about $3. So about a $4 profit on that. And then up next is a Beanie Baby. Um, it sold for $6.75 free shipping. I'm way in the profit on a lot. I got hundreds of these for like 50 bucks. Um, and this one sold for $6.75 free shipping. Shipping will be about three. I put this in a little padded envelope and that is it. So pretty easy to ship. And then up next are some more bras. Um, and this one is from Lynn. Um, she got these, so I appreciate your purchase. These are some more bras from the QVC pedal. They're actually super comfortable, and she got them for $12.15, free shipping. Shipping will be about three. I paid five, so about a $5 profit on those. And then up next is another visor. So quite a few visors sold in this um, sale. And this one is Guy Harvey. It is embroidered there. This one sold for $11.69 free shipping. So another four to five dollar profit there. And then up next. And I got a ton of these and a lot sold. And I made a lot of money on this. But there are a couple of stragglers. I think there's actually only one left. But this is a vintage Briggs and Stratton. And you can see the part number is there. And they are new in the box not used um this is a gas tank and this one sold for 13.49 plus shipping the buyer's 21.89 all in i paid a couple bucks for that at most so that'll be over a ten dollar profit on that and then up next this is super cool um and i'll post a picture up because i'm not going to be able to show you guys completely but it's like this giant beach towel um it's a circle with fringe and if I went to the beach more, I probably would have kept this because it's really thick. And I looked this up. I'm trying to find it. Yikes. So, somewhere on here. I can't find it right now, but I'll post a picture up. It says the beach people, so I was able to research this. I did get this for $3 at Goodwill, um, and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping, and it is going international. So about a $30 profit on a towel, which is awesome. But if you see stuff that's different, like this is a round fringe towel. Um, it definitely stood out to me, and... Um, so I opened it, saw that it was the beach people, looked it up and saw they sell for $50 to $100 typically. Some sell cheaper, but I got $40, so not too bad on that one. And then up next, I did get these at my local thrift store. They are colorist tools. Um, I paid like $0.20 cents each. Really simple to ship. We'll go in a padded um, envelope. They sold for $7.49, free shipping, so I'll probably make about $3 on those. And then we do have this belt. This is an FSU belt. It is embroidered. I've had it a little while. I'm way in the profit on this lot, so really nothing in the cost. It does still have the tag and the price of 32. Um, it was probably at like a campus um, bookstore or something. And it sold for 16 plus shipping. Buyers 25.44 all in. Um, so this will probably be about a 10 to $12 profit on that. Three pairs of the Soma panties. Um, two white and a stripe. I am almost out of these. They have been great sellers. So if I could find another QVC lot with just Soma panties and Bionic shoes, I would be in heaven. But 
um, the stripe sold for eight seventy seven, and then the two of the white sold for thirteen fifty. So twenty one dollars. I have less than a dollar in shipping. Will be three about a fifteen dollar profit on those. And then we sold another one of these button ups. So this one here it's got the surfboards on it. Um, it is Rum Reggae brand. It is an XL. And this one sold for $25 plus shipping. So we have $8 in. Be over a $15 profit on that one. And then I sold some more paintbrushes. I still have tons of these left. It's crazy when you get big lots. Like this is all profit. So it, as it sells off, I am making money on it. So these sold for $23.62 plus shipping buyers $28.77 all in on those. And then we did sell two lots of um, CVS nasal mist. And then I am going to show you guys. Um, this is the last sale. And then I want to just talk for a minute. And I'm going to talk tomorrow on my live show about this. Um, you're probably going to see this after the live show. But this is an awesome piece. Um, it was um, made in the Czech Republic. It's pretty big as you see. So they had it marked um, $40 at the thrift store. And I um, I paid half of that. So I paid 20. I really wanted to get like $150, $200. And there were some sold comps of that, um, but they were a little different paint variations, but the same maker. And I got an offer of 75 and I decided to accept it because that's still $50. So I'm not sure with this sale and I would really like some comments and feedback on this. Do you think like these increase in sales is because I ran 50% off or do you think that maybe I'm pricing too high so the 50% off made my prices more realistic where people wanted to pay? Because I really think my sales should be like this all the time because I have over 1800 items listed. So realistically I should be selling 18 a day and I'm not, um, I'm selling 10 to 15. So I'm wondering if A, I should mark down or B, I should just run this 50% off for an extended period of time. So let me know your thoughts and I will probably add some more sales onto this. So let's take a look at those now. All right guys, so I decided to leave my 50% off sale on until Friday. I just want to see what is going to happen with the sales like if it was just the initial rush or will it continue and then i'm going to have to decide should i lower my prices or do i keep a 50 percent off sale on so we have 305 dollars and 27 cents going out on ebay and we did have one poshmark sale so i'm trying to sell my share my poshmark closet um a little more here lately just to see if I can get those sales up on Poshmark. So the Poshmark sale was a small pair of earrings. They sold for $11. I'm only about 50 cents in. Really cute little earrings um, and they do pay shipping. So I will make about $8 on those over on Poshmark. Those will be really simple to ship out. And then over on eBay, um, First is this pair of Looney Tunes pajamas. I did get these at Goodwill. I paid $4. They sold for $15 plus shipping. Buyers $23.29 all in. So they're just like a flannel bottom and then a cotton shirt. And I paid $2 per piece. I think that's what it is for um, pajamas at Goodwill. So not too bad on that one. And then we sold another of our pattern books. This one is ABCs and Creative Letters for scrapbooks, cards, and more. So I have less than a dollar in it. Sold for $7.49 plus shipping. The buyer is $11.01 all in. And then up next, these I got at an estate sale. Um, I did get a lot price, so they are some false graph. Um, this pattern is folk art and there are two of them. They're just some coasters. They sold for $10.34 plus shipping buyers $20 all in on those. And then this Otlight was actually in a box lot from an estate sale. Um, Otlight is really expensive for crafting, like the bigger ones. So I figured these smaller ones should do okay as well. So 
less than 50 cents in and this one sold for 877 plus shipping the buyer is 1407 all in on that one and then we sold some more of the anybody bras those i'm um, two dollars in. they sold for 1215 free shipping shipping should be about four so we'll still make about a five dollar profit on those and then we sold this gators for those of you that don't know, I do work for the University of Florida. Um, this is a little Christmas tree ornament. It does play a song, but I can't figure out how to make it do it. It was doing it in the bin earlier. Um, so less than a dollar in. It sold for $5 plus shipping. Buyer is $8.80 all in. And then up next, this is super cute. I paid less than a dollar. It's a little sloth. Um, sloths seem to be pretty popular still. So this is a little baby rattle. Um, super cute. And it has the crinkle arms. So another textile one for kids. And this one sold for $13.49 plus shipping. Buyer is $20.08 all in on that. And then we sold some copper which it's been a while since we sold the copper but we sold these two bracelets i lotted them up um because by themselves they don't sell for much and they sold for 13.49 plus shipping buyers 20 dollars and 35 cents all in i think i have about a dollar into those and then we sold another one of our t-shirts this is a guy harvey swordfish um it is an extra large and it sold for $15.99 free shipping and it will be about four to five dollars to ship it out. So we are in about four dollars and we'll make about seven dollars on that. And then up next, this is an eggshell Nautilus sugar bowl. You can tell by the double handles there. It's dirty. Um So this one sold for $19.98 plus shipping. Buyer is $44.03 all in. Up next, this is a really awesome piece. This is Salmon Falls Pottery. If you see anything that looks like this, it is marked so you will be able to tell. Um, I got this at an online auction. It's just a really, really pretty piece. And I paid, I think, $6. It sold for $20.99. Plus shipping, the buyer is $37.73, all in. And then up next is this Monster High doll, and she is missing an arm, and I do have that in my title. <laughs> Dalton's chasing a moth. Um, so I paid a dollar for her at the flea market. She sold for $8.54 plus shipping. Buyer is $14.73 all in on that. And then we sold another stack. I'll just show you guys a couple. These are the ones that I bought like a bulk, um, less than five cents into each. So less than a dollar into this. They sold for $20.25 plus shipping. Buyer's $26.23 all in. And then up next, and this is already in the plastic, but this is a little Forest Friends scrub top. It is size large. I did pay $3 for it at Goodwill, and it sold for $8.25 plus shipping. Buyers $13.52 all in. And that wraps up everything for the day. Hey guys, I am going to add in one more day of sales just because they were so great. So it is Wednesday and you will see this video today and this will be the final day of sales for this video. So I still have the 50% off on and we actually have $477.63 going out on our main store on eBay. So the sale is going amazingly and I actually, if you see, um, I had taken down my little shirt set up there because we had got all our shirts listed from the estate sale and yesterday we were about an hour south looking at some boats and I went into the thrift store with the dollar clothes. I have never really looked for the Hawaiian shirts before but they've been moving so great. The clothes there are a dollar and I said let me just look. I found, <clears throat> excuse me, I found 12 shirts for a dollar that are Hawaiian. I believe most of them are made or designed in Hawaii. And so we got the shirt thing back up and we're listing them again because I'm making money on these with about $8 in it, the estate sale, um, the auction that I bought them at. So 
I don't think any of these are going to be like $7,500 shirts, but I might have some $40 and $50 shirts and from a dollar that will be amazing sales. So hopefully I will show you some of those soon. Um, so there will be more than the $477, <clears throat> this first item, and I will be popping these up on the screen because I am headed to work. Um, is a Boot Hill Saloon shirt. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Buyers $15 all in. This buyer actually sent me offers on five other shirts, either four or five. All decent offers, like one or two dollars off my asking price. Um, and they paid outright for this one. So I know they'll pay for the remainder soon as they get up. So I woke up to four offers. So they bought either five or six shirts. I'm going to pop them up for you. So that's awesome. Paid full price for one. Made offers that were decent offers on a lot more. Super easy to ship. And I think that's my first multi-shirt sale. So that's really awesome to see them getting all of these different shirts. So I think they're going to be about 80 to $90 in on the shirts. Pretty cool. Up next is a Layers by Lisden sweater. I have only sold a couple of these. Honestly, I don't think they're that great. They were in my QVC palette. So I sold this one for $15.18, free shipping. At this point, I'm just trying to get rid of them. I only have a few dollars in, so I am still making a little bit of profit, but I'm at the point I just want them gone. Up next is an Ann Klein tote. This was a wholesale buy from Macy's off of B Stock. I just bought a bunch of purses, um, and it I had $12 in. I sold most of these purses. I did, did get in the profit on them. This one sold for $17.54 plus shipping. Buyers $27.92 all in. Those are about the same. I'm just ready to move them and let them go. This next buyer is another multi-purchase, which is great. They bought two lots of my vintage patches. They paid, actually they bought three. They bought two types, but they bought two bags of one and one of the other. And they are about $22 all in and I'm less than a dollar in. Free shipping, but shipping will be $4. They're super light and yeah, so great on that. This next item is a sale of something we bought and we are just breaking even. We got this hummingbird fish finder for a boat that we did have and we ended up selling. And so we paid $2.55, we sold it for $2.60 after fees. We'll probably lose a little bit of money, but we got our money back on it because we don't need it anymore. So definitely think about stuff, especially higher price stuff that you just aren't using that you can make a profit on. And up next is a Hawaiian button-up shirt. This one sold for $30 free shipping. We are 8N. Shipping is 5, so we'll still make about a $15 profit on this one. And then I did sell an actually, it's here somewhere. I sold a football card. Um, this is a Panini Prism. This is Joe Burrow. Um, shouldn't have bought the card, but I did. So this getting some of my money back. This one sold for $25 uh, plus shipping buyers $28 all in. And last is a viewer sale from Sharon Bouchard. She is a great supporter of my channel. She got some presidential coins and also this amazing picture from Italy. I'm really glad she got it. This is one of my favorite finds. It's an awesome like mid-century modern green and gold. And I think she said her daughter lives in Israel. So she will have the picture um, when her daughter comes to visit, which is pretty cool. So Sharon, thank you so much for your purchase. I greatly appreciate it. And that wraps things up, guys. I had a great time on the live last night and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. So let me know again, guys, do you think I should keep the 50% off sale on or should I lower my prices or just go back to doing what I was doing? See you guys next time. Play the drums and jam. Now you gotta dance.